Damn. Oh, it was going to be so good. That was so perfect. He was just like, okay, I don't care about your wall off. My banelings can get over here. All right, here we go. Spawning in the upper right-hand corner of this map, we have our pink power zerg player, Tuna. Big Tuna. And in the lower right hand corner, we have our green Zerg player already one game ahead and hoping to go for game number two, Harry Potter. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it begins. Oh, it begins. It begins. Harry Potter versus Merman. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. I mean, I think Harry Potter would totally win in a one-on-one -on -one duel versus Merman. Yes. But that's just my... I'm pretty biased towards Harry Potter. I mean, how good can Mermaid Man really be without Barnacle Boy? Exactly. Totally. I mean, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy OP, but, like, if you take them apart, it's like... It's like Hellbats without Metavex. Yeah. It's, it's just no. Yeah. Totally. I mean, even though Hellbats are still pretty damn good without my back. Side, how can you beat the boy <laughs> who lived? So. <laughs> oh, I have oh, so man. many jokes for this game. It's going to be beautiful. Alright, I can't wait to hear your puns. I, I, I'm afraid to look at the chat, though, because I don't know how Orphan's actually responding to this. So, whatever. Sorry, Orphan, if this offends you in any way. Hopefully it doesn't, because I'm going to continue the jokes anyway. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it seems as if uh, Tuna is electing to take a little bit of an earlier gas right now, because... He doesn't want to be caught without speed at the, like, you know, he doesn't want to get that four gas again. He wants to make sure that he gets about as early of the speed as he thinks Orphan is going to get. Um, yeah. But Orphan is going for, like, pool and then a hatchery. Yeah. Smart play. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's an egg play. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, the only real broke thing about it is... His parents. <laughs> Lily and James. Why? Oh no. Harry Potter is so sad. I don't I don't care how corny these jokes are, I'm going to keep doing them all okay. freaking day. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad. I promised Travis I would do this. <laughs> well six circlings are on the way for Tuna, as well as Link Speed, which is quite earlier. I mean Orphan doesn't even have a gas yet, so he might find himself in a bit of a sticky situation. If um, Tuna decides to go for some aggression, which it looks like he might because he doesn't have an expansion yet. And the Baneliness is also going down. Mm. Oh no. So it looks like Mermaid Man over here is thinking he can copy Harry Potter's strategy. Which, you know, it, it may work unless... No, I, I don't know. I don't know, I mean... I feel like, I mean... <laughs> Tuna just showed Orphan his that crazy wall off of his. I would really like to see Orphan like come across that the map, and then he put up three Evos and a bunch of spines. Yeah. Oh no! So he did scout these lings. I wouldn't be surprised to see a spine crawler coming down. Uh, Orphan has started speed. Eight more lings are on the way, and, and there's the spine crawler. There yep. we go. So, so. Good to go. <laughs> I mean, the lings are already coming across the map. Two banelings are being morphed. Six zerglings are on the way for Orphan, and he is doing the queen wall. Uh, the let's see how well he can hold this off. That's fine, fine. He's gonna it's go going down. to fall. I don't think that was a cancel either. I I don't think it was a cancel either. And I mean, it's. I mean. This, lots this, of pressure being put on Orphan right now. Yeah, this is scary. I think Orphan's just waiting. He's oh no, uh, the banelings! The banelings! Oh my god! <laughs> they uh, are gonna connect. The, Drone's going up. Queen Wallop is looking a bit impenetrable, but it looks like Orphan might. Oh no! If these pink things oh. keep intercepting the reinforcements, I think he's really just waiting for his Zergling speed to finish up. He has put a Baneling nest down, but this natural is in danger. Oh my god. These speedlings are getting really scary. Now we have a speedling war going on, going back and forth between the two players. Those queens are going to help a lot, though, with that range. They really we are. Have Oh my god, we have three more banelings being morphed in right now. The baneling nest for Orphan isn't quite finished, but I mean, I think right now he's almost outnumbering his opponent in rings, at least the ones that are here. So if he can do some pretty good micro, these. Oh, but the banelings oh, are the banelings. moving in! The oh my god! Oh no, that was horrible. Wow. 
And these, oh my god, these things are gonna get right into this base right, right now. The They're gonna go right for the mineral sleep. line. The Bainland nest is finished, but, oh my god. These oh drones. My god. This oh micro, my god. the queens are gonna help a little bit. Oh, but two Banelings are being morphed right outside of his creep vision, but it looks like oh it's gonna be cleaned up right here. He is gonna, he did Oh my god, these. the Banelings are going to fall before they can actually hatch. He's holding. Orphan's holding this. Oh my god. He's held it, and now he has more links than his opponent, who's trying to take a second hatchery. He's like, alright, that didn't work, and he's scared, so I'm just gonna Orphans, take a second hatchery, but he's like... Orphan, Orphan managed to hold on to the snitch, apparently. <laughs> Orphan's just like, nope. And he's gonna deny this expansion really quickly. And there a is lot nothing of feelings here. right here. There's nothing that Mermaid Man can actually use to defend this. The Lings are moving up. Two Lings out, but this beings, is not enough. Though. The Queen is going oh. to... Falling. Oh, Bailey. Well, oh, got me, but it is not fall. Oh, GG's Tuna GG's. Gryffindor 